This is DITW Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on pseudostratified epithelial tissue. Pseudostratified epithelial tissue is a tissue made of a single layer of columnar cells, which are organized in such a way that it appears as if there could be multiple layers, but there is not. That is why it is not called stratified, but pseudostratified, which means a fake or artificial stratification, or layering, of cells. These cells are involved in protection of airways and fluid ways by secreting various substances. Some pseudostratified cells also have hair-like projections along the top of the cell called cilia, and they play an important role in protecting the body. One of the places where you will find pseudostratified epithelial tissue include the inner lining of the trachea. The trachea is the first tube that leads inspired air into each individual lung. If we look inside the trachea, it is lined with this pseudostratified epithelial tissue. The cells in this area are subject to large volumes of air daily, which requires protection. These pseudostratified cells secrete mucus, which lines the trachea to maintain moisture levels and prevent dryness. Atop each of these cells, you will notice the little thin hair-like projections called cilia. These cilia actually are controlled by the cell and serve a great purpose. If you breathe in foreign particles which could harm the lungs, the mucus can trap the particles and then the cilia will actually move the particles up the trachea, where they can be swallowed and sent where they can be destroyed in the harsh acidic environment of the stomach. This is a way in which the tissue protects the airway, especially the lungs, from foreign substances which can be harmful. For more information regarding other tissues, please see my other videos on my page. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions related to anatomy and physiology, please leave them down in the comment section below. And of course, to know when new videos become available, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.